We're going to attempt to play Dragon Quest XI with all Draconian quests. <sighs> I don't know what I'm signing myself up for, but I figured why not, right? Why not put myself through unnecessary suffering for a YouTube video? So, if you do not know what Draconian quests are, um... They essentially make the game much more difficult. For instance, I'll read off all the Draconian quests in this version of Dragon Quest XI. Uh, this is like the PS4 version, the vanilla version, so I don't think it has as many as the Nintendo Switch version. But I'm already going to suffer enough, so we don't just don't worry about it, right? <laughs> so, no fleeing from battle. You cannot flee from fights. No shopping. You cannot spend gold on items. No armor. Um, you can't equip any defensive items. <sighs> Reduced experience from easy fights. All enemies are super strong and shy pox. Basically, your turn can get skipped because of uncontrollable embarrassment. We're going to turn all of these on. And we're going to begin our journey to hell. Because um, it's going to be it's going to be scary. All right, so we are here. In the world of Erdria, <sighs> I'm going to be at her mercy for who knows how long I'm going to keep this series going, but I'm telling you, man, we're in for a treat. We got Gemma and Sandy there. Squad, squad. You're a lifesaver. That's what she's going to say. Yeah, you know, come on. That Dragon Quest of and memory, you know. Um Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. That actually is just like you, Gemma. You did it like when we were kids. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. <sighs> Sandy is such an ugly name for a dog. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cruel, right? I just, I just know I'm, I'm not naming my dog Sandy. I can tell you that, man. I'm sure as heck not. So as you can see, all the draconian quests are on the left. Um, it's probably gonna stay on the screen. I can't remember if there's a way to turn it off in the settings, but regardless, it's gonna stay on the screen so you all can see how much I'm suffering. We're going to uh, get into our first battle because I want to see like is this first battle hard like will I actually just get bodied because I mean I don't know am I gonna have to grind well there's not there's not really any spot to grind but is it gonna be difficult I'm scared all right these are the slimes right and it, Gemma's like eek monsters you know um, yeah <laughs> Oh my god, I like, Jimma's voice is cute. I, I think some people find it annoying, but I think it's cute, right? Um, it is kind of funny also. Okay, so, like, if I get, if I die to three slimes, I'm actually gonna, like, quit the game right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, one slime already down, one slime already down. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be honest with you. The game's kind of easy, bro. Like, I think anyone can beat this game with all draconian quests. Like, it's kind of easy, bro. Also, I just realized, like, since we're like, this is kind of like the tutorial of the game. It probably will be actually very easy, cause like I think Gemma will literally heal you every time you get low. I think when draconian quests will start to become difficult is when oh my oh my god. Oh my god, we're overcome with embarrassment. We can't move. Also, that pose he's in is kind of crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Also, like, I'll be playing in freeform because um, I like that. And I just feel like it's the best way to play the game. And a lot of turn based RPGs, you're from, like, you're stuck in, like, a static fixed angle. But I love the fact that you can actually just move around mid battle. It doesn't do anything, but I just think it's super cool. And so that's the way I'm going to play this. Uh, game so let's attack this slime. It should die. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so not too hard Not too hard Okay, so 
This beginning section, you know, it's light work. This game is actually easy. I, I, I assure you, anyone and their mother could beat Dragon Quest XI with all draconian quests. I mean, look, look, look. First battle was a cakewalk. Cakewalk. Okay, let's follow Sandy. Hey, look at that, look at that. This game is not hard. Come on now, all draconian quests? Man, it's too easy, too easy. All right, let's go. All right, let's go to to the cave. You know, uh, yeah. Like I said, I, I, even in the cave, like it probably won't even be that hard since Gemma will literally just heal you every time you're low. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is this is easy mode. This is light work. Okay, let's go against this needler. Um, if I, is that the name? What's that the name? Am I is my Monster Hunter knowledge? <laughs> Okay, that's how you know I'm just talking out of my ass. Monster Hunter knowledge? Okay, Dragon Quest knowledge. God, okay. Uh, I didn't even check, but yeah, okay, yeah, it is a needler. I was right. Um, okay. Needler does a little dance, okay. Hmm, Sandy's pretty tough, I will say. Okay, you're just healing yourself. All right. I'll paralyze with fear. Okay, let's attack that. Get him! Gotta love Gemma. You gotta love her. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's attack you again. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. This. This. This, this is extremely easy. I don't see what's the, what's the big deal about playing with a draconian quest. <laughs> I'm joking, all right, I'm joking. But still, the game is ridiculously easy at this point. Um, like I said, it is four o'clock when I started recording this. So like, there's like a fog, or, oh my God, I lost my sense of direction. Okay, now we're, we're going this way, because Sandy's there. Um, there's like a fog boss, like a fog monster um, at the top, not, not at the very top, but like on this area we're about to go to right now. After that, I'll probably call this video a day. Um, and then, you know, I think the next part maybe will be longer, but like, I'm tired, I'm gonna be honest with you. And um, I just wanna beat this boss and see how hard it is. Cause I feel like th this is an actual boss fight that's coming up. Maybe it'll actually be difficult. Actually, probably not. Cause Gemma will probably still be, be Gemma will probably still be there healing me. Sorry, cannot speak. It's late, it's late at night, I'm sorry. Oh yes, the fog. <coughs> All right. Oh, Cole, Cole, I totally forgot this kid. You know, Ian from Smosh, I don't know. Um, okay, oh my God, that's some, um, that's a real big gust of wind. Okay, uh, okay. I think the most efficient way to do this fight is to um, spam magic because they have like for instance like I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you if you haven't played Dragon Quest XI but like these things like they have they'll dodge physical attacks a lot but with magic it hits them more frequently. So we're just going to spam magic. We're not even gonna really worry about MP since I'm fairly certain Gemma will just give you free MP. That's why the beginning of the game is ridiculously easy, even with Draconian quests. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on spamming our our spells. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, okay, you know what? Since since you know it's so cool, we can you know we can do this now. Uh, I'm not trying to flee. Also, it's cool. It actually shows up. You can't flee because of your draconian quest or restrictions. I even mean, though I wasn't trying to flee. I was trying to, you know, just be like, you know, it doesn't matter, but I can attack you with a fireball from the back. See, look how cool that is. Yeah, look how cool the freeform camera is. Okay, now, Gemma, give me, uh, give me MP. Give me MP. See, look, Sandy's uh, attacks are missing because they're physical attacks. I'm pretty sure physical attacks can hit. It's just like it's harder for them to hit. Um, but yeah, one smog down. I'm not even worried about dying because Gemma will heal me. Yes, exactly. Okay, the beginning of the game is ridiculously easy with Draconian Quest. 
you know, not gonna lie, this game, you know, it's easy, I'm not gonna lie, the whole game will be this, this much of a cakewalk, like, you know, easy, light work, light work, let's spam a frizz again, okay, okay, just waiting, oh, thank you, Gemma, thank you, Gemma, look how scared Gemma looks, though, like, oh my god, like, She's just like scared for her life. I mean, you got me and you got your trusty companion doggo Sandy. All right, let me stop messing around and also use Frizz. Okay, okay. Oh, it died. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, it's confirmed. Draconian Quest are, uh, they don't add any difficulties to the game. This game is ridiculously easy. Um, yeah. Anyone that beat the game with Draconian Quest, all of them enabled, are, you know, they're actually just, you know, playing on baby mode. <laughs> Joking, obviously, you guys. I'm sure the game will get more difficult as we, uh, probably, I'm thinking the game might get more difficult when we go, uh, when we leave Cobblestone and we, you know, we're in the fields to get to Heliodor. I'm assuming then, like, when Gemma's not with you, because that's, that's like the part of the game where you're all by yourself. Because I think it's like a reference to like the original Dragon Quest and and how like you know there was only one party member that whole game the main character. I'm getting off track. God, I need to sleep. I need to go. I need to sleep. Okay, you know that dog and his kid went over here. I don't know why he was up here. He's retarded. Why would you come in a monster-infested mountain? Kids these days, man, they'll do anything for clout. <laughs> Myself included. You didn't hear that. Um. Uh, let's see. So yeah, uh, um, I guess I'll catch you guys in the, the next video. Um, like I said, I could go up there and watch that whole cutscene where I saved Gemma. But I just, we'll do it in next video. All right, I'll catch you guys in the, the next Draconian Quest video. Peace.